pretty excited. We're starting a really cool job for the United States Naval Academy. We are polishing and dyeing over 32,000 square feet of concrete for the new commissary floor. It's a great project where we can give back to our service people. But it's on an incredibly tight deadline, so getting this thing done on time is going to be a big challenge. The first thing we have to do is run a concrete saw through the existing joints to clean them up. We want nice clean edges before we fill the joints with polyurea, a material that expands and contracts with the slab and allows heavy machinery to roll over the joints without cracking the edges. So far, so good, but we are in the dead of winter and there is no heat in this building and the temperatures are expected to dip to around zero tonight. The problem is polyurea installs best at 70 degrees, so we're going to have to come up with a way to keep it warm. We have record lows this morning. It's literally so cold that the hot exhaust from the vehicle is freezing as soon as it hits the ground. Normally we wouldn't work when it's this cold, but we have to lay the polyurea to stay on schedule. Luckily we devised a plan that's working. First we heat the buckets of polyurea up to 70 degrees in our van. Then we mix the materials and pour the components into our pump. To keep it warm while we apply it, we built a custom heating blanket that wraps around the tanks of the pump. The material is spreading great, but we still need to occasionally check the temperature to make sure it is staying warm enough. Everything is working well, but it will take the rest of the day to get these joints filled. This morning, we are having an ice storm. It seems like Mother Nature is working against us. Luckily, our crews made it in, and we are scraping the excess polyurea off the slab and prepping the concrete for grinding. It's day five, and somehow, we're still on schedule. The guys will spend the next couple of days grinding the concrete down with a coarse grit abrasive. This creates a concrete slurry that is squeegeed away and sucked up with a machine that works a lot like a Zamboni. It's a slow process, but we need to remove the cement paste layer and expose the sand aggregate so the color from the dye can set in. Grinding and honing took seven long days, but we're finally done and we're ready to put the dye down. We just have to touch up some areas and then get this floor as clean as possible. We are at day 13 and we are supposed to be applying the dye. We've only got three days left to get this job done and of course, the cold temperatures are still affecting us. The floor is too cold to apply the dye so we are closing off all exits with plastic wrap. Hopefully, the HVAC is going to get hooked up this afternoon and run overnight. We are hoping that the plastic holds in the heat to warm up the floor enough so that we can put the dye down in the morning. We really need this to work because we're running out of time. The guys are testing the floor. It's just warm enough. Time to apply the dye. The floor will be light brown. To apply the dye, we use sprayers and then work it into the concrete. To get a nice rich color, we will put down two coats. It will take the rest of the day, but we should be able to get it done. The floor is looking great. Today we are doing one last pass with 1800 grit abrasives on our machines. This will give the floor a nice reflective quality that has good clarity. If all goes well, we'll apply the last chemical application tomorrow. It's day 16 and we are applying the chemical protection guard. We are back on schedule and it's a good thing because we have to be out of here in two days. The guys are making good progress. I don't foresee any setbacks, but in this business, you never know.
It's the last day and it looks like we're gonna make it. The final step is burnishing. We run a machine that cleans the floor and cures the chemical guard. This helps protect the floor from stains. The floor looks fantastic. Now the space gets turned over to the general contractor so they can finish their work. We'll be back in 90 days to clean the floor before it gets turned over to the Naval Academy. It's the last day on the job. and We just finished the final clean, and let me tell you, the floor looks great. The stained concrete floor looks awesome. I'm glad we got to work on such a cool project and help our servicemen and women. This job had its moments, but we persevered.